in this section, we're going to talk about relations, mainly linear relations. And this is more of a review. So if you're very comfortable with this topic, feel free to skip on ahead or try some of the practice questions to see if you're comfortable or not. All right, before we talk about a relation, we have to mention what variables are. So variables are these letters, X, Y, Z, A, B, C, T, N, any letter you want, that are used to keep track of quantities, meaning numbers. So quantities is just another word for numbers. And what are we keeping track of? Well, we're keeping track of numbers that we are interested in measuring or counting. For example, if you're interested in measuring someone's height, someone's weight, how quickly they can run, uh, count the number of apples in a supermarket, or if you wanna count money, these are all quantities and we can use variables to represent these quantities. So these variables, these X, Y, Z letters, they don't just take on one number. They take on many different number values. Now we're often interested in how two different variables interact with one another and how they interact. This is called a relation. So pretty much a relation describes how the two variables interact or how the two variables are connected. So we can represent relations using many different ways. The most common is to use a word description, such as this one, you describe the relationship, you describe the situation, or you can use a table of values. On one side of the table, you're gonna have one variable in all of its values. On the other side of the table, you're gonna have the other variable in all of those values. You can also use a graph. The most common graph that we're more familiar with are the graphs with an X and Y axis. So it shows kind of the relationship between these two variables. And the last method is my favorite. It's to use an equation. Now it's my favorite because I'm lazy and I don't like to write out a lot of things. Equations is the simplest form. You see that you have both variables in the same equation. So that relationship is described using that equation. Now, since there are two variables in a relation, we give them special names. First, we have something called an independent variable. Now, if you're used to your X, Y graphs, independent variable is usually your X. These are the variables that we choose. We pick the values for X or pick the value for our independent variables. And then the values of the other variable are calculated based on this independent variable. And then the other variable has the name dependent variable. So these are the values that we calculate. So these are usually our Y values if we're looking at an X, Y variable relationship. And these values are calculated based on the value of the independent variable. So let's take a look at an example here because I know this can be a little confusing. So our first example, you have the employee's daily pay, so how much the pay they get to take home versus the number of hours they worked. So let me ask you this, does the pay depend on the number of hours they work or does the number of hours they work depend on how much they get paid? Well, if I'm the boss and I'm trying to figure out how much to pay this person, I need to first figure out how many hours they've worked. So that's why the independent variable is the number of hours that they worked. And the dependent variable is actually their daily pay because the pay depends on how many hours they worked. Now let's take a look at the second example. We have the height of the tree versus the age of the tree. Now, does the height of something depend on how old they are or does how old they are depend on the height? Well, think about a baby. You can think of a tree or a baby or a puppy, anything that grows. The older they are, usually, the taller they get, right? So the height actually depends on the age. So the independent variable here is going to be the age of the tree. We get to choose what age they're at. So let's say I chose, okay, let's look at this tree at age three years old. Then I can see what the height is at that corresponding age. So since we choose the age, that is our independent variable. And the height of the tree depends on how old the tree is. The height is the dependent variable. All right, one more for us to do here. We have the time a student spends studying versus their final exam grade. So I'm gonna pause the video at this point. Feel free to write down what you think the independent and dependent variables are. All right, since for the most part, the more time you spend studying, the higher your exam grade is, the independent variable here would be the time spent studying. You get to pick how much time you wanna study, and then your exam grade will depend on the time spent studying. Hey guys, my name is Jess, the head of education here at WISE. 
I hope you enjoyed this video tutorial. If you want to see the complete course, please check out the link in the description. You can also go to one of our playlists to keep learning for free. If you want us to cover a specific course or a specific topic, please leave us a comment below. We post new videos every week, so don't forget to subscribe so you don't miss out on any of the new stuff.